Hey guys, it's been a while, but welcome back to the Hill Life Homestead. Uh, we haven't posted any videos because it is about 110 degrees in the shade. You factor that in there with the heat uh, index and it is hot. So there hadn't been a lot going on in the garden or outside or any anywhere, but uh, Hurricane Ida has made landfall. And unfortunately we didn't get any rain out of that, but we have gotten some uh, cooler winds. So it feels pretty good outside. But I want to show you guys something down here on this plant. If Tiffany doesn't freak out, but this is a, a green link spider and they are absolutely gorgeous um, this is a big female and I would say before too long she's going to put a egg sack up here and these spiders are pretty cool they guard their egg sacks uh, they hunt they don't hunt with a web or anything like that they're a, a ambush uh, hunter but they also apparently spit venom from what I've read on the internet but uh, we're not going to get that close and, and find that out for ourselves but Pretty neat looking spider, got really really hairy legs and uh, I've seen them catch grasshoppers and stuff. It, it's pretty neat the way they attack it, so. Can we feed it one? Mm, we can try to, let me, let me capture one. Take it away. Kinda. He's like, don't do that to me. Poor little guy. He's sacrificial. How far can they spit the venom? I don't know. At least he's pointing down. This thing don't want to go up there. I don't blame it. I can't tell if her abdomen's all swelled up because she's been eating good or she's full of eggs. She's kind of coaxing him up there. Oh no. Oh no. Windy, that ain't gonna help. Oh, geez. She got him. Did you get it? And that's how they hunt. They just sit there and wait when some unsuspecting critter either crawls in there or is forced in there in execution <laughs> style. They get them. He's sucking its blood. They uh, put venom in there and turn all its guts to liquid and then they suck that out. So, yeah, everything, I guess. So, yeah, I should be putting an egg sack up in here in one of these for long and then they guard that till they till they die, unfortunately. Do they actually eat their bodies? <sighs> Not the outside, all the insides. So she'll die after she... After she has eggs, she'll make a little cocoon with all her little eggs in there and then they just guard that and they'll... Uh, we had one in here last year. I just didn't tell y'all, but anyway, they'll have a little egg sack and they will uh, they'll guard that till till winter time. I can't tell over. how close I am to it. Oh, uh, about six inches. Can you see her good? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're gorgeous. You don't see them very often. Weird or not, I think they're cool. So I uh, always been fascinated with them ever since I've been little, and. Uh, I didn't want to tell Tiffany, I thought she'd think I was weird, but here we are. Me and Lisa, we feed the other little spiders too, the uh, big yellow garden spiders. They're all- They're not, everywhere Not right all now. over the house, not creepy like like uh, a Halloween style, but uh, we do have a few around here, so. There's like 20. We may put one of them in here too. So. All right guys, this is a yellow garden spider. They have a really, uh, really neat web. Some people call them riding spiders uh, because of the little doodad they uh, weave right in front of them there mainly for camouflage to hide them but uh really beneficial spiders in the in the garden or anywhere else they eat all kinds of grasshoppers and whatnot um stuff that's going to be eating your vegetables but uh anyway we're going to throw a grasshopper in here so you guys can see in action get over here Will she go down there and get it? I start wiggling. When it starts flopping, <laughs> she knows it's time. Oh, she moved the leg over. You see her move her leg? Mm hmm. She felt it wiggle. Look at how she weaved her egg sack. 
So there's babies in there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wrap that dude up. I'll give it a quick bite. And then she'll go back up there and leave it down there. Let the venom start doing its work. They get a little bigger than that one. Uh, that, one that one's a pretty good size when you see the size of my hand. But, uh, anyway. When they freak out, if you get too close to them, they'll start shaking. And then they won't eat. <laughs> Freaked me out a little bit. So she starts shaking. That's to let you know she's there and not to touch her. Do they bite? Yeah, yeah they bite. You grab them. They're not going to like fly off there and attack you or anything. How many babies do you think's in there? I'd say thousands. Kill them. Uh-uh. We'll move them off the chair, but I ain't going to kill them. She worked hard for those. So does she not need to take care of them anymore? No, those will be next uh, next summer spiders. Really? Yeah, they'll overwinter in that sack. Hey guys, uh, I know this was a super short video on the spiders and stuff, but did want to bring that to you guys and show that and uh, how neat we think it is. Just going to finish this one by uh, showing you guys down here where we're going to put the bees this spring uh, and kind of what we got planned with this little part of our field here on our eight acres. So, um, I guess take a walk with us and we'll talk. Plus, Jax, he's running out here. I don't think he's actually chasing anything, but he sure thinks he is. We got him an oversized tennis ball. I'm going to put the chicken coop out here somewhere along these trees. I'll find kind of a flat spot and build that this, this winter after I'm done deer hunting, of course. And then I think down along this, I'll start mowing all this too. Uh, but somewhere down through here, we'll start planting some wildflowers, some native wildflowers and things. I think by this tree is where I want to put it. What, the chicken coop? The bees and the flowers. Okay. And then on the other side out here, past this tree where it's out of this, the, the drip range of this tree, uh, I'm going to plant some fruit trees, some apple trees and plum trees and maybe some pear trees i don't know my only concern is on this <laughs> tell them Jax. my only concern on this hilltop is it is so windy up here uh we're on one of the highest points in independence county as you can you can see from the surroundings it, it's all down from here but uh it's really really windy up here it's like kansas all the time so uh those fruit trees for you guys to know are uh, they don't do well in the wind so i'm worried about breaking over and breaking limbs off and stuff like that but Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, and then uh, catch us on the next video. God bless you, and thanks for watching.